let's get right to meteorologist Mary Lee for a closer look at our high temperatures. Mary? And Michelle, I'm watching those temperatures rise this afternoon. A heat advisory in effect for the Bay Area due to this dangerous heat. Likely record-breaking high temperatures as we head through the day today. Those daytime highs well above average, more than 20 degrees above average for this time of year. And also still dealing with that extreme fire danger with the red flag warning that has been extended until 6 p.m. today. For all the areas highlighted in red, the North Bay and East Bay Mountains, Inland Valley, and Santa Cruz Mountains with those offshore winds, low relative humidity values dropping down to the single digits and the teens. We are talking about dangerous fire weather conditions, those critical fire weather conditions as we head through the day today. But tracking some changes as we look to the weekend, we'll have cooler air with that ocean breeze finally kicking in. Details on your weekend forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Michelle? Mary, thank you. Thousands of people remain without power in parts of the Bay Area and Northern California. That's after PG&E shut it off to prevent strong winds from damaging equipment and sparking wildfires during the heat wave. About 30,000 customers are still in the dark, down from 45,000 on Wednesday. PG&E crews have to inspect every mile of of line for damage after a PSPS before those lines can be re-energized. Here's a live look at PG&E's map showing where the outages are still going on. The utility says it expects to have power fully restored sometime tonight.